Okay, so this is Saturday, uh, February 20th. I came out earlier to take a look at the seedlings that I started last weekend. A um, bunch of tomatoes, oh, okra, tomatillos, and a whole bunch of stuff. So when I got out here, I was amazed. I'm going to show you what I found. Pardon the back of the greenhouse. It's pretty cool. Um, 20, how much was it? $40 normal price. Picked it up for $30 at Tractor Supply. So this is my contraption. Um, metal wire shelves. Got a couple of plant lights. There's one. And then I got one hanging up over the seeds down there. And I got a couple other ones that I got to put up. And then I've got my thermometer, which says the current temperature is 87 degrees in here. Minimum temp was 61. High temp was 95. No wonder I got things sprouting everywhere. Okay, so down to the plants. First spot here is delicata squash. Not a whole lot going on in there. I'm sure there's something going on. I just can't see it. Oh, yep. Um, there's a spot right there of something coming up out of the ground. But then we go over to this one. Yeah, whole lot going on in that spot. Those are my straight eight cucumbers. Great big tall linky things. So those guys will get transplanted this weekend into their little cell packs. And then this is my lufagords. Whole lot going on in there. Not as much as their neighbors. Not going absolutely crazy, but we got a few popping up through the soil. Some back there in the corner. And then this compartment is some tomatoes. This one is the Lemon Boy. Don't see anything going on in there. Next spot is Yellow Brandywine. Again, nothing going on. Oh, yeah, there's one sticking up back there. Right there. And then we've got yellow pears. They are doing pretty good. All the way back. And then this one is the triple crop. Italian tree tomato. Got a few going up, growing up in there. Most of them are just barely coming through the dirt. And then we're going to take a trip across the greenhouse. That's the sprayer that I use to just give my plants a light mist. And I've got a timer down there. Got that set to go off every 45 minutes to keep it up to temp. And this is the onion tomatillo tray. We got copra onions back there. Let's see if I can get this for a better shot, better direction. We got copras. Absolutely not a going on in there. Next, we've got tomatillos. We've got a couple coming up. These are the green. We've got two colors, green and purple. Next, we've got ruby wing onions. Um, that might be one coming up. Not sure. I think I that was the one I thought was a piece of grass and pulled it. Yeah, not real intelligent on my part. 
And then this is the purple tomatillo. Again, not a whole lot going on in there. Sorry about the greenhouse moving. That was my grand pup, Ruger. Ruger! Pretty boy. He came out to check things out with Grandma. Okay. Next is another batch of tomatoes. In this first spot, we've got black semen. It's an heirloom that I picked up from Amazon. Um, looked interesting, really dark red, black. Um, thought I'd give them a try. Next, we've got celebrity tomatoes. Got a few coming up in there. Although one of them, again, looks like grass. And then that one is Sun Gold, one of my favorite types of cherry tomatoes. And then back there we have Golden Delicious, along with a squash, a cucumber, a gourd. Not sure, it just decided to pop up. So, okay, next one is the Table Queen Acorn Squash. Those guys are doing amazing. Kind of yellow, so I'm going to get my grow light out here, get another one hooked up, help them green up some. And then next door is the Bumpy Gourds. They're a lot like a pumpkin, only they've got warts everywhere. They're pretty cool, but I don't see anybody popping up out of the dirt yet. Might take them a little bit longer. And then top rack, we have burgundy okra, red burgundy okra. These guys are doing awesome. Still see the little seed pods on the outside. I used to go around pulling those off, broke a couple of stems, then discovered that it actually makes them stronger if they can push themselves out of that seed pod. So I'm leaving them alone. Next we have Brussels sprouts. Yes, I love Brussels sprouts. I'm weird. Next we have Snowball Cauliflower. Several coming up there. And then down here we've got early flat Dutch cabbage that I don't see doing anything. But it's only been a week, six days, so we'll give it more time. Give it some more heat, maybe get some light out here. And then our last tray of tomato seeds We've got San Marzano right here. Next, in the next two spots, is black cherry, which are not completely black, just a really dark red, purplish color. And then, last but not least, for today is the mortgage lifter. That has its very own story, which I will get into another time. But this is my greenhouse for the moment. I bought these containers at Walmart, 94 cents plus tax. And I use, generally use plastic or vinyl blinds, cut them down to size, use them as labels plus I use them as dividers so I can use one shoe box and get multiple things not sure why that one is there because it's the same two both black cherry tomatoes but 
probably had other plans and then decided to go with those. And the ones that are popping up really well, I'll wait for a little while and put them into cell packs or the 72 cell propagation trays with hopes of doing a plant sale um, maybe a couple of different times this year. Help get my business off to a good start. So that is the greenhouse. There is Miss Amara sunning herself out in the Arizona heat that we've been waiting for. Amara! There she is. She's a pretty girl. And here comes Ruger. Heaven forbid anybody get attention other than him. And heck, I'll go ahead and give you a brief shot of where my greenhouse is sitting. It's actually sitting inside of a wooden shed. It was getting pretty chilly at night, so I put it in here for safe keeping, plus keep the dogs out. Really nice shed. Shelves all the way around. Wooden floor. Those were buckets that I planted tomatoes in last year. Got a topsy-turvy that um, didn't work out so well, but I'm going to learn more about growing out of those. I used some PVC for the tomatoes. Got the beige which is more for being out in the sun. It doesn't disintegrate as quickly. And just cut some notches in it. Get up close here. Cut some notches so once the plants start growing up, I've got something to attach some 550 cord to to hold the plants up. So I've got three of those that I'm going to be getting ready to plant plus the grow upside down tomato grower that's what it's called so yeah that's my greenhouse right now that's uh, my storage shed right now for my greenhouse supplies got all my trays back there these are the 72 cell propagation trays that I'm going to be putting things into got a stack of those and then these, I think, are five, maybe they're 288s. Yeah, those are 288s. This is 520. These things are tiny, tiny, tiny. can barely fit my finger down in there. Maybe my pinky. Yeah, pinky fits better. So I got a couple of those. Got some heavier ones down here. Some more of those. And then the standard six cell packs with their trays so um that's about it thanks for watching this is christine with christine's garden hoping you have an amazing day an amazing weekend